Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're joined by Sebastian Kruger, who's the Vice President for Asia Pacific at Passler. Passler provides expert network monitoring of IT and IoT infrastructure. Sebastian joins us today to discuss how unified infrastructure monitoring enables MSPs to deliver services to their clients. Thanks for joining us today, Sebastian, and welcome to the jam. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. So just to start off, Sebastian, for MSPs, you know, customer satisfaction is crucial, right? Um, so there is no room for non-functional networks. Yeah, that's, that's actually a good one. Um, and the short answer would be correct. There is no room for non-functional networks. But I think it's interesting to, to look a bit into why is that. Um, people are coming to MSPs to save money in the first place. Yeah, so they would like to save money, especially on own resources. Um, they would like to gain flexibility. Uh, they can change the MSP, of course. They can add services. They can take services away. It's usually quite modular. Um, and I think we all dream when we are going for services about better SLA and better services, right? Um, that's at least a bit of the, the, the promise there. Um, but on the other hand, the cost is much more transparent now. I know exactly what I'm paying how much for. Um, and uh, so I look much closer to the performance of this MSP and the services that are being delivered. Um, and overall, I would say this partnership is a bit more unforgiving especially for mistakes, then talking to my own employee where I have one or two performance appraisals per year, right? Um, so yes, there's not really room for non-functional networks because this is what hurts the most and what's most visible, of course, yeah, when something is not working and the boss is calling um, because he can't do stuff in the internet, then it's immediately bad, basically, yeah. And so why are the monitoring challenges for MSPs, you know, so complex and vast? Yeah, so the, the main difference, I would say, for an MSP compares to the end customer where the IT was taking care of everything before, yeah, before outsourcing or handing over specific tasks to an MSP, is that when I talk about my own network, first of all, I do know this network quite well because I was building this. And also I was able to choose all the devices that I'm using. And usually I go for um, a quite, uh, the, the, the approach to use one vendor or to focus at least on one vendor. So that let's say all my network infrastructure is based on Cisco, for example. Mm -hmm. you know, so it's fairly easy um, and I don't have too much variety in there. But in the role of an MSP, I'm taking care of many customers. And they all have a different philosophy. Maybe one is all more into HPE, the other one likes Dell better. Um, and I have different hardware, of course. I have different software that I need to look into. Sometimes I even have individual solutions that are tailored to only this one customer and um, completely different infrastructure designs. So maybe I have a customer with one headquarter and this is all they have. Maybe I have a customer with 10 branches and some of them were even acquired and not built by themselves. So even within this customer, then there are different uh, um, vendors I need to take care of. So I think this is the, the high complexity. And then ending up to what I said before, the expectations of the customer. So what is the individual customer really expecting by giving out tasks to an MSP? So in this climate then, how does having unified infrastructure monitoring help MSPs to provide a better service to their clients? Mm -hmm. um, that's a good question. And I think what an MSP wants to achieve for themselves is to have as little silos as possible. Um, what do I mean with, with a silo? When you have a vendor and you buy products, you usually also get some kind of monitoring for this. Mm -hmm. um, it's then tied to this vendor. It's maybe using proprietary protocols. And the issue is as soon as you have many of these islands or silos right next to each other, like maybe five, six, seven, eight or something, uh, you will have trouble, first of all, to implement all of them properly. 
you would need to set up dashboards, notifications, um, and usually this is not really working out anymore because you need to also maintain all these products. Um, and these silos for an end customer is already uncomfortable or unpleasant, but for an MSP, it's something that's dangerous to the business because when you have so many silos, you don't have any connection, you don't see something is happening here, what impact is this really having on another part of my business? But this is maybe a different silo. So I, I can't see how things are connected. So I, MSPs want to avoid um, these silos or islands. You know? And that's something they can only avoid by using some kind of unified monitoring that's then making this one umbrella or spanning this one umbrella um, for all the products that are being in use, no matter if this is software or hardware. Um, and their main goal with monitoring in general is to have something that's fast, reliable, and easy to use. Because they also don't want to invest in, I don't know, a 10-day training. I'm exaggerating, yeah? Um, a long training for uh, learning how to use this monitoring and then five people are sitting in front of it and doing nothing else. Yeah? They, they want to have something that's easy to use, that's able to visualize what's happening out there. Um, and what I've seen personally at many MSPs is that they use usually six big screens at the wall with many dashboards on them so that they can really see at a glance when something is going wrong. Because mm -hmm. we, for example, and all others are doing the same here, basically uh, red is bad. So the more red I see on the screen, the more bad things are going right now. They need to react fast. Um, mm -hmm. I've seen also some funny setups where MSPs were putting up like a traffic light, like an actual traffic light where they were indicating, okay, so how good it's going right now? Right. Um, or others were using these, um, these hue light bulbs, these LED lights where you can uh, connect via uh, Wi-Fi and you can change the color. So some like Star Trek a lot, so they make like a red alarm in the, <laughs> in the, uh, in the uh, NOC to visualize when something is going terribly wrong. So. What are some um, of the comprehensive monitoring features of Passler's software PRTG um, that are so valuable to MSPs? Yeah. Mm, so, so besides tons of templates for lots of hard and software that's out there in the world um, and the, the option to, um, to individualize this more uh, so you can build your own sensors basically to monitor devices that are maybe not so common, um, like in the in the IT area, for example. Um, but we do have a few very strong soft features, I would say, that are a bit more important because to be honest, using protocols like SNMP, WMI, and so, this is something we all do. Yeah, every monitoring solution needs to use this because this is the, the business, uh, the, the industry standard here. But coming to the strong uh, soft features, we do have very good mobile apps for iOS, Android, uh, down to the watch even, so that you really can have the information you need to have at the right time and place. It's not only sending out an email to notify about an alarm. We can even tick your wrist um, via the watch to tell you that something is going wrong and then you can have a quick look. So um, especially when you are offering 24 seven services, for example, it's important for the person that's on standby and usually they're not sitting in the office, right? They are they're home and waiting for a notification or some kind of alarm. And they can easily tell how bad is this? Do I need to drive to the office now or even to the customer? Or is this something I can do remotely or can it even wait until tomorrow because it's a service that's not being used in the night, for example. No? Mm. Um, the dashboard functionality of peer to g is something that's really important because you can build your own dashboards and gain overview for all the customers you're taking care of or specific segments at the customer, depending on what the customer is paying for, right? So. You only build a dashboard um, that is being paid for and that's being needed. It's also quite um, intuitive in the usability and combined with a very good documentation and training resources online that are for free. Um, it's, a, it's a product where you don't need to put much effort in for learning and implementing. So how does PRTG then help MSPs offer monitoring as a service or mass? Um, to their clients and you know what is the benefit of this so i think first of all prtg was never built for being an exclusive product for msps 
but we do come naturally with a few features um, on, on the offering end that makes us very attractive, attractive for MSPs that want to offer specific monitoring services. Yeah? We are very focused in this field. Um, so we don't have modules where you can do a configuration management or remote access management or something for your end clients. Um, but we are very focused on the monitoring area and this is why we are um, good there. Yeah? So most MSPs do come to us at a point where they say, okay, I do need real monitoring. I can't do this as a side hustle anymore. Mm. And we have different offerings that make it um, easy for the MSP to choose between very high flexibility in, in license size, you know, so they can easily up and downgrade or go for a very uh, interesting price point where you of course need to commit to a certain amount um, of systems that you want to monitor. And uh, then you can choose between a cloud installation with the high flexibility I was speaking of, you can go on premise especially for industries that do demand um, more security, like in the finance area or in the government area. You can go for a subscription model or perpetual, then you really own the license and only need to buy maintenance. Um, and what's also very interesting for MSPs is that we do have an all-in licensing. So there are no modules you need to buy in, in terms of functionality. So you always get to monitor customers um, with a satellite, you know, we call it probe. Um, that's for free there. You always get a high, avail high availability cluster um, and also multi-tenancy is always included mm. in the product. So you could even um, give a customer access to your PRTG installation, but only to the part that belongs to them. And maybe also just read writes because you don't want to give them full access, of course. Yeah? People tend to mess things up. So um, I would say on, on this end, uh, pricing wise, flexibility, and also the, the feature set is uh, quite interesting for MSPs and is helping them, them to offer a tailored service to their, their clients and also come up with their pricing. Well, thank you so much for coming on to the jam today, Sebastian, and you know explaining why infrastructure monitoring is so important and can really benefit MSPs. Now, thank you for giving me the chance and it's always a pleasure to work uh, with the TickDay team. Thank you.